Hi, I'm Frost and uh, welcome to My Homeworld 2 Remastered Guide where I'm going to be covering all the levels and how to complete them. Now I realize levels 1 and 2 are pretty much tutorial levels and uh, pretty straightforward but we're going to cover them anyway uh, just for one sake of completeness uh, but also it gives me a chance uh, to show you how to just set things up correctly so that when you do actually get into the game proper at level 3 uh, you kind of got the right techniques and the right methods uh, to engage it properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack on and uh, let me just get back into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack on and uh, let me just get back into this. There we go. No, I want to press this one here. All right, we are now in the game. So right at the very beginning, you've got this little dude here, which is your resource collector and you have to harvest these modules down here. Now, obviously, you know, the first thing you would do Copy. is you just click on it and then click on the modules. What I want you to do instead is Stay click on. around him and then use your control zero key. So control and zero. Ten. And that will assign him to group 10. You're going to want to get into the habit immediately of assigning all your various ship types into different groups as you are going to end up with lots of ships going in all different directions and you're not going to be able to handle them one by one. Next is you need your hotkey for harvesting. That is the default key is H. Collection so we just hit H and it just goes and finds the nearest source that it needs to harvest. It's only when you get later in the game where you have greater distances that you have to start sort of guiding them in the right direction. But initially just hit H when you've got your resource collector group selected and off they go. Now uh, for me personally, uh, I uh, change some of my keys around. So normally you use the arrow keys to move around the, the grid, you know, so to move backwards and forwards. Now I changed mine to the WASD keys, you know, the ones up here, uh, just because it's just more familiar to me. I'm going to shut up for a minute. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Right, okay, so we're going to build the fighter facility, so that's up in the build up here. And I always have to drag it out. For some reason, it's always minuscule. We just click on that Production and that's going to be underway. underway. Now, one of the things you should also be aware of uh, when you do that is uh, up on the left-hand side here, we've got these kind of little dots in the circle uh, called cues. If you click on that, it opens it up. And what you get is you get a much clearer indication of what's actually happening with building of ships rather than this little box down the bottom. Also, when you have multiple ships building, you'll see all of them and it gives you a much better idea of, of who's doing what. So you really always want to have that open and then just use the uh, menus on the right hand side just for selecting the builds and then you monitor the builds on the left hand side. And then you can see at the top right now our resource units are going down because we're busy building something uh, as our collector then starts bringing stuff back. Now your resource collectors... Mothership fighter facility complete. <laughs> fighter facility subsystem complete. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. Okay, this is the thing. We've got two, two, two tutorials going on at once here. Okay, so we're going to build interceptors. But what we're going to do is we're not going to build one, we're going to build three. So we're just going to click on that three times. There we go, and on the top left hand side we've now got interceptor times three. If you're coming from Homeworld 1, be aware that in Homeworld 2 uh, it now builds a squadron. So when you build one interceptor you're actually building five interceptors. So before you start shift clicking to build five units at a time, just be aware straight away that now uh, you're building interceptor squadrons. So as I was saying, I use the WASD keys. So uh, my dock key, which is normally D, I move to my backspace key because I figured back home, so that's how I remembered it. And then the other keys that were assigned to was D, W, A, S, D, uh, they aren't actually that relevant and you find that you won't Stand actually need them. Begin combat trials. Okay, so now we're going to get into combat. So, you Command saw that I assigned... Will assist by providing target drones. All right, so we have our target located drones. Here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. Right, so we need to send our interceptors over to there. So the first thing we're going to do is rather than just send them, we're going to sh Roger. shift click them or sh click over them, do control group one, one and they're assigned to group one. So now I can group assign my resource copies. collector with to zero, assign, pick complete. my interceptors group with group one, one. one. Okay, now I've got more coming out. Now the way you add interceptors to a group is you hold this down the shift key and you can group drag one. over or just click directly on them and then do control one again and now you've added an extra squad an extra squad to your group so what we're going to do now is as we've got one selected we're just going to send them over there and click now if you hold down the shift key 
you can also go up and down a little bit and that's going to be more relevant later on but just so aware of it so we're just going to go there and they're going to head off now the next couple of keys you're always going to want to know about and they're down here in the menus but i pretty much never use any of these little uh, selectors down here uh, it's f2 and f3 f2 is attack and f3 is protect so we're just going to hit f2 group one reports enemy contact and now they're basically going to engage. They normally say sort of set to full power or show no mercy. And that's your confirmation. So I'm strangling myself on my cable here. <laughs> uh, then uh, that's basically them going in auto, auto attack mode, as you can see. Now, obviously, you've got the space bar, which you're going to be using a lot uh, if you pull out. And that allows you to pull out and get a much grander view. And I'm going to shut up because the tutorial's kicking again. Tannis control. This is perimeter station Chimera. We okay, we've got some cinematics, so what we're going to do is we're going to scoot past that so I can, you can enjoy those force. yourselves. See you in a minute. This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base, this is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in, awaiting orders. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vager bombers. Right, so we've got some extra bombers here. So if I zoom out very quickly, uh, we've got our bombers, Group 1. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we select all the bombers. I mean, sorry, all the interceptors and just send them on their way. And then we're going to hit F2. Show no mercy. That means they're doing their thing. Okay, in the meantime, what we can do is we can always build some more interceptors. So we can build another squad. In the meantime, there we go. So we can see that's just doing its thing. You're going to get used to be working in the map mode quite a lot, especially once you get later in the game, as you're going to have so many things going on everywhere. They are wandering off, but they, they will sort of fly around. They kind of, sort of overshoot a little bit sometimes, but uh, they're doing their job. They're attacking, as we can see. Yeah, everything's going fine there. These chaps are doing a grand job. So we're going to leave them to it. And let's see what our inter interceptor squadron complete. There we go. So we've got another interceptor squadron built. So you can see it appearing right here, down the bottom here. So once again, we've got one selected. So I'm going to control one. And then this time I'm just going to hover over these guys and just send them in the general right direction. So they engage in the fight as well. And then an FS. Okay, so they've, they've destroyed everybody, but at least I'm getting everybody together. Chimera Station is offline. The Vega have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Please cruise. Stand by for right, once again, I'm going to scoot past the cinematics. Roger that, Tannis. Detected. Estimated time before contact? Two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. Right, so we got our orders. Straight away we're going to build three bombers. They've now appeared on our list here. So we're going to do one, Production two, three. Underway. Build Major three squadrons. Okay, uh, group one. We're just going to focus on this chat. It died so quickly anyway because I had enough interceptors. But when you select a group like that, you can click on an individual ship and then they will attack that individual ship. Right, so the bombers are building. You can see our resources are going down. Uh, if I press zero, 
right, we've run out of resources now, so it's just sitting there minding its own business. Right, and what else can we check? At this stage, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna have these reinforcements arriving in a, a minute and a half, and that should give us enough time to build the bombers, and then we'll move on to the next step of the tutorial. So as I said, um, pretty Bomber much, squadron complete. Um, most of the things that you're gonna be using are this menu here, you're going to be using this one up here. There's another menu underneath, which is information. And that actually tells you how many fighters, uh, squadrons you have. And that's going to be much more relevant later on. And I'm going to cover that in level two, as you will, as you will come across a problem when, you, uh, when we do the tutorial with level two, I think, because that's what happened to me last time I did it. Right, so how much have we got? 46 seconds. The bombers are coming along nicely. Okay, so as we've got our bombers here, Copy. Let's select them and do control Group two. two. So Designated. my bombers are always number two. So my interceptors are always one, bombers, bombers are always two, complete. resource collectors always uh, 10 or zero. And then as we start getting different classes of ships, we're going to fill those up. And you can target. see down the bottom here, I've got my squads down there, and you can select them using this menu at the bottom, right, but I much alert. prefer just using the keys. Okay, so for the gates, this is what we need the bombers for. So we're going to hit two, and we're just going to click straight. My guy's got in the way. There we go. We click straight on top. I think I've had another bomber squadron. Yep, so we're going to select him, control two, and we're going to select it again. Make sure they're going in. My interceptors, I'm going to focus them on those guys, and then hit F2 to make sure that they know that they need to be in uh, aggressive mode. I have another squadron of bombers come out, so once again, select Gate two, destroyed. shift click, Destroy control two, and now gates. I'm going to focus on the next hyperspace gate. Right, my um, interceptors are doing a good job. Friendly's under fire, moving in. And these bombers with three squadrons, uh, they should definitely make very short work of, uh, of these gates. And there we go, that's the next one down, so make sure it's selected to select that, and now the bombers are going to go over there. And my interceptors are keeping the other interceptors busy. Okay, so you should know uh, bombers are complete gas, glass cannons, they are so squishy, and they have a habit of wandering off, uh, so you've got to make sure you keep an eye on them. So for example, now they'll try and engage in combat, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Docking them to dock. So, Long range sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. Right, so everyone's going to bugger off now, but you saw I sent my bombers in to dock. The thing you should remember with interceptors and bombers is the easiest way to repair them is dock them. If you send them to dock, they get all their health back. So you want to get the habit of always sending your, oh, it's getting loud, of always sending your bombers and interceptors back to your mothership for repair. Right, things are getting a bit hectic now. This means it's roughing up the level. And that wraps up level one. So, um, as you saw, it's all very straightforward. You're just following the, uh, the guide basically and doing what's necessary. But hopefully you've got an idea already of how you start setting up all of, your, um, all of your squads, how you move them about. And then what we're doing is in level two, it's a little bit more complex. We start using the map a bit more and I will see you there. So thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you think anything else is worth mentioning at this early stage of the game, then please let me know in the comments. And uh, if you like what I do, sci-fi gaming, especially strategy gaming, then uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, hit the bell icon because I do release um, new material on a regular basis. All right, see you soon. Bye.